It started out as a typical July 4th morning for Jill Doherty, watching the Highland Park Parade, an annual U.S. Independence Day event she's attended with family and friends for decades. All of a sudden we heard a pop and we thought it's too early in the day for fireworks. And then we realized it was shooting. Doherty and her group fled, leaving chairs and belongings behind. We just ran, just ran. A day after the shooting rampage that claimed seven lives and left dozens wounded, Several cordon blocks of the town center appeared frozen in time as Doherty returned to collect her things. The incident left her with great sadness and questions. What could motivate somebody to do this? You don't expect it to happen where you're from. Where you grow up is where you feel safest. It was by chance that 19-year-old Jacob Carmen missed joining the crowd at Highland Park this year. Forgot to set my alarm. I would have been here. The spot where it took place was my family's usual viewing spot, so... He had difficulty expressing his emotions in the wake of a tragedy that has transformed his hometown. I could say a thousand words in my true feeling of absolute sorrow and devastation after this happening yesterday. I cannot find the right words in all those thousand words. What Carmen wants most isn't words, but action. How can people in power change this? How can people help? That's what I want to know. How can, how can people change this that doesn't happen again? It's a message echoed by many in this affluent Chicago suburb of about 30,000 as U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris visited grief-stricken residents, law enforcement, and city leaders. This should never have happened. We talk about it being senseless. It is senseless. We have this onslaught of mass shootings. They don't seem to stop, and it's so frustrating because we know how to stop them. Lori Ann Post is a professor and mass shooting expert at the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern University. While Congress approved new gun control legislation after mass shootings in Texas and New York earlier this year, Post believes it doesn't go far enough. The U.S. had a federal assault weapons ban that was in place from 1994 until 2004, and during that ban, um, mass shootings um, attenuated significantly. And had we kept that ban in place, we would have prevented um, probably 30 mass shootings. While there is no current federal assault weapons ban, the town of Highland Park does have strict local restrictions on the semi-automatic weapons used in the July 4th shooting. Ordinances that did not prevent the tragedy. we got to be smarter as a country in terms of who has access to what, and in particular assault weapons. I don't know what the right call to action is, but I'm going to be optimistic we can find it. With the alleged gunman facing murder charges, Doherty hopes the tragedy sparks meaningful change in America. It might be a most unfortunate catalyst for good change. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Highland Park, Illinois.